for something like this, but nothing quite on this scale. The French state has been very confrontational in its approach towards Islamists and violent Islamists in particular. They've taken a very hard line on wearing the veil. And so all of this means that the country is seen as one that is very much at the forefront of the battle of the West against Islam. And this means that for violent Islamist groups, it's a country that ranks as high as a target. Today's terrorist attack in France did not come out of the blue. Over the last month, there have been a number of less serious attacks by lone individuals in Nantes, in Tours and in Dijon. In June last year, police in Marseille arrested a jihadist with a machine gun, the same man who'd earlier killed four people in Brussels. Over the Christmas period, France deployed troops in public places, but that was clearly no deterrent to whoever carried out today's attack. The satirical French magazine Charlie Hebdo had plenty of enemies, especially amongst Islamist extremists who took deep offence to its cartoons. It had been firebombed in the past and later named as a target by al-Qaeda in Yemen. This morning, it tweeted a cartoon of the Islamic State leader al-Baghdadi. The gun attack came just one hour later, probably too soon for the two to be connected. By tonight, thousands had tweeted their solidarity with the magazine. Many Muslims have been quick to condemn the attack. We've got a huge debate going on within the Muslim community about this issue. There's a huge challenge now uh, to expose this ideology, the sources of funding where it comes from, uh, and above all, uh, to say to young people that if you want to challenge what goes on in Syria, if you want to highlight the issue of Palestine uh, and the Israelis, then the way to do that is through the political process. Today's attack in Paris has disturbing echoes of the one in Mumbai in 2008. Once again, a small number of heavily armed gunmen has wreaked havoc in the heart of a city. Once again, governments around the world will be asking themselves, how 